name is Håkan from Arex Hooks and today we will be tying a classic streamer, the Muddler Minnow, which is a really good trout fly for both running water and still water and it can imitate close to a lot of uh, fly that are tried, trout are eating, both fish, bait fish and big insect nymph. Uh, we will be using the Arex NS118 hook, which is a traditional streamer hook. And we set the thread. And for the tail and wing, we will be using a mottled turkey wing. Now you need both a right and a uh, left wing because you need sections from both sides to make a proper tail and wing on the fly. So I start by cutting out a small section from both feathers. And we put them together. Make sure the tips are even. And then we tie them in. And to get the right shape of the tail, you need to make sure that the pressure from the thread is coming from above and straight down. And just hold the section and pull it down. And then you get a nice shape of the tail. And then I tie down the fibers along the shank. Cut off. And the body is gold tinsel. I'm using Mylar tinsel, which is easier to work with. And I wind the tinsel all the way back to the tail. Make sure there's no gap between and that the body is even. And then we move forward again. And tie. Then we are tying in an uh, underwing, <coughs> which is uh, from natural gray squirrel pull out a bundle by doing this you make sure that the tips are quite even you don't need to stack these here cut off and then you hold the tips as far as you can and pull off all the waste so that the underwing is not too thick or too heavy that's nice Make sure the wing is as long as the tail and tie it in. And the wing is made of this turkey tail, so I cut off a bit broader section from both feathers, like this. Put them together, make sure the tips are even. And then we set the wing, make sure it is as long as the tail and do the same as we did with the tail. Pull the thread straight down and hold the wing while you do it and hopefully it sets nicely. Uh, the head on this fly is made out of deer hair. So I will be changing the thread from an ordinary 8.0 to a GSP or similar thread. And to provide, prevent the head from slipping or fooling around, 
Uh, you put a layer of thread over the rest of the shank so that the head is sitting on the thread and not just the, the bare shank. And then we take deer, this is row deer, and uh, cut off a bundle. And the tips should go halfway the wing, something like this. And then I pull the bundle down around the hook and I make one and a half turn and straighten up. Don't pull too hard because then the thread will cut off the deer hair. And then we just secure the head with every turn all the way down the shank. And then we just make a neat head. Uh, sometimes you see models with massive uh, deer hair head, but the deer hair uh, then uh, provide. Uh, sorry, the deer hair will make the fly float, and that's not the the. the uh, um, the way you should fish the fly. So don't make too big head. This is this is big enough. And now we trim the head all the way underneath. It's better to cut it off in sections so you don't cut it too short to start with. The fly was originally uh, tied to imitate a small bait fish, so the head should be quite big, but if it's too much hair, as I said, the fly won't sink for you. And there you have the finished model.